Hi everyone, it's Silly Sue for you here. Um, I watch a great lady on YouTube named Chit Chat with Granny Pat. Well, she was making potato salad and I thought, I love potato salad and now I'm craving it. So, I decided to take some of her ideas and put them into mine. My potato salad comes from my mother-in-law, Annabelle, who just passed away this year. And I thought, you know, I'm going to mix her recipe, because she's the one that taught me, and Granny Pat's, and see what we get. So here we go. First off, one thing Granny Pat used, she said, was red potatoes, small red potatoes. So I peeled them and I'm boiling them right now just until they're, um, you know, you don't want them mushy like you were going to make mashed potatoes. So you still want them a little firm, but they're not there yet. They're still pretty hard. And I'm boiling a few eggs. Oh, my messy kitchen. Okay. I've also already cut up some red onions and some celery. And then I have a secret ingredient that I put into my recipe but I'll show you after I get a little farther along hi we're back and now I'm going to make up this potato salad first I threw all drained all my potatoes put them in the refrigerator to cool and peeled my eggs and now I'm going to cut up my potatoes into chunks I like them kind of kind of chunky They feel really good. They don't feel mushy. They feel just right. I didn't make a whole lot of this because it's just me. And believe me, I'll eat it because I love potato salad. Okay, we'll see. These red potatoes seem very nice. I've never used red potatoes before in a potato salad, but they appear to be really good. Okay. Now, almost done. Potato salad's always a great side dish at a barbecue. And um, tastes great with burgers. So I'm defrosting some hamburgers. Maybe I'll have a hamburger also. Okay, did I get them all? Well, this did make up more than I thought it did. Now, Granny Pat said when she cooks her hard-boiled eggs, she drains them and then she just kind of rattles them around in the pan so that the, all the shells crack and then the shells practically fall off. And you know what? They did! 
and I've never done it that way before. But Granny Pat's 86 or 87, so I'm not real sure, but she knows how to cook. She's even written a cookbook, she said. Okay, now this is pretty chunky, but I like it that way. All right, then we're gonna add our celery and our onions. I always use red onion. Okay, and here's the, the secret ingredient. Dill pickles. So I just get the hamburger chips and cut them up. I put in oh, probably a pretty good amount because boy, they taste great. And I also add a little bit of the pickle juice. There we go. And a little bit of the juice. So that it gives it a little tartness. Now, as for seasoning, let me rinse my hands off here for a second. some salt, some pepper, and I like to use celery salt. Celery salt. one of these little egg slicers so I'm gonna take a couple of them the eggs and cut them two ways as you can see then they're all diced up I'll take two eggs and do them like that getting stuck. There we go. Save up one of the eggs for garnish on top. Now, I only use Best Foods. Best Foods mayonnaise. I guess it's Hellman's and some other places. I add quite a bit. Woohoo! And let's mix this all in. Mix it all together. Don't mix it, don't put too much in so that it's just all goop. Okay. And then we add some good old fashioned mustard. Oh, if I can get it open. There we go. Some people like the mustard, some people don't. If you don't like mustard, 
you don't have to add it. And there we go. Then I'll take the last egg, slice it, and put it, the slices on top for decoration. It always looks nice. And that's Grandma Annabelle's recipe for potato salad. With so thank you everyone for coming along with me making potato salad. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and ring that bell so you will get notified of all my videos. Thanks. Bye.